You missed some important news from the LGBTQ plus community this week. To ensure you are current, we are recapping that important news. Here's what you may have missed. The LGBTQ plus community is shocked as new pride street painting is vandalized in Fort Lauderdale, the gayest place on planet Earth. Mayor Dean Trentellis decries creeping level of hate after vandals deface the LGBTQ plus pride flag painted on a street just off Fort Lauderdale Beach. The mayor says the LGBTQ plus progress pride flag was damaged intentionally. He says that the damage to the flag should be viewed in the context of rising animosity toward traditionally marginalized minority populations. Trentellis, the city's first openly LGBTQ plus mayor, presided over the unveiling of the flag on just February 10th, the day before the pride of the Americas parade and festival at the beach. According to Detective Ali Adamson, a department spokesperson, the Fort Lauderdale Police Department is investigating the incident. The flag measures 75 feet by 18 feet, is in the design of the Progress Pride flag, most of which consists of the six rainbow stripes that are a familiar symbol of LGBTQ plus pride. It also includes the triangular black and brown stripes to represent people of color and baby blue, pink, and white stripes to include the colors of the transgender flag. City spokesman uh, Arlene Borenstein said this total project, including asphalt work, cost $77,375 and the flag was painted on Sebastian Street between State Road A1A, affectionately called Gay 1A, and Seabreeze Boulevard, which is close to the famous LGBTQ plus beach uh, of Fort Lauderdale. Stay tuned at the end of tonight's broadcast for a special exclusive interview with Mayor Trentellis regarding the issue. Keep watching the only television news in the world from our LGBTQ plus community and stay informed on everything that is important for and about our diverse LGBTQ plus community.